begin seated in a comfortable position as you slow down your breath. Starting with some neck stretches, looking down, then up, down, and up. One more time down. To the right, and left, right, left, one more time right. Drop chin to chest, half circles down from one side to the other. To full circles one way. Then the other. Next, tilting right ear to shoulder. Other side. Release. Roll the shoulders back. Good. Hands hug your shoulders as you round out the back, spreading the shoulder blades wide. Clasp your hands behind your back, grounding the hands down as you open your chest and gaze up. Release, clasp hands ahead of you and draw figure eights working the wrists. Plant the palms ahead of you, fingers facing your body to stretch the wrists further. To seated, open and close your hands, squeezing as tight as you can, then spreading the fingers as wide and as long as you can.
shake it out. Right hand to the side, side bend to the right, left arm reaches up and over. To the left. Release and make your way to a tabletop position. Line up knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Exhale, round out the back to cat pose. Inhale, dip the belly in cow pose. Continue flowing through cat-cow, moving with your breath. Keeping the lower legs and the hands where they are, begin to shift the body in circles, moving one way, then the other. Bending through the knees, lots of movement in the wrists, counterclockwise, then clockwise, moving the body as much as feels good. Next, lean the hips back and forth from child's pose to cobra, rolling the spine as you move at your own pace. Curl the toes under and press to downward facing dog. Walk out the heels to warm up and stretch the legs if it feels good. Steady the feet, grounding the heels. Let's move to our tiptoes and back. Tiptoe and back. Four more times. Staying strong through the shoulders. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. Fingertips pressing down firmly to remove pressure from the wrists. Next, moving from down dog to plank five times, coming to your tiptoes, then hinging strongly to plank, pause, then keep the core engaged and return to down dog.
Last one, ending in down dog. Walk the hands back to a fold, clasping your arms at the elbows in ragdoll, or just allowing the arms to hang loosely. You might find a little sway in the body. Engage the legs and core, halfway lift to a flat back and hold. Exhale, forward fold. Engage the legs and core as you roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Adjust as needed. In standing, pedal out the heels, stretching the ankles. Float the right foot, drawing knee to chest, and hold. Get long through your grounded leg and keep the core engaged. Keep the leg up, release your hands first, and then lower the leg with control. Other side, left leg, knee to chest, get long through the grounded leg, and engage the core. Release your hands and lower the leg with control. Draw the right foot back, grasping it with your right hand to a quad stretch or dancer prep. Try to keep your knees together in line with each other as much as possible as you lift the chest and draw the shoulder blades down and back. Release, repeat on the other side with the left leg. and release. Stepping the feet as wide as your mat, toes turned out, lower the hips to garland pose. Hands together at your heart, elbows pressing into your legs as your legs press back into the arms. Hands down ahead of you, raise the hips to a fold, straightening the legs as much as you can. Option to hold your ankles to pull your body in deeper into the fold. Next, let's walk the hands forward and step the feet to hip distance apart to a downward facing dog. Draw the right knee forward to a pigeon pose, right foot ahead of the left hip, keep the hips square to the mat and get long through the back before folding over that front leg.
Curl the back toes under and press back to downward facing dog. To the other side, left leg forward to pigeon, hips squared, get long through the back before folding forward. Pressing up, we're going to sit back on the heels with our big toes together, knees wide apart, shoulders stacked over the hips. Raise your arms overhead, clasping your elbows, or if you can't reach, lower on the forearms. Open and lift the chest. Side bend to the left. Then the right. To center, release your hands to your knees as you take a few deep breaths to finish up. 